July. Hey guys, Missy and Gabby here. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> I'll look at it in just a second. We are, um, you have pulled all the protective films off, right? Mm -hmm. We are um, starting putting the um, sublimation transfers onto the earrings because that's time consuming and we don't want everybody to have to wait and watch us have to do that. So we have started doing that for you got um, to speed up the process. We're going to wait for a few people to drop on, um, jump on. Um, if you're seeing this after um, the live is over, this was on our Facebook live and our Facebook live will go on our um, YouTube page. So um, we will be answering questions that people have on our Facebook live um, today and um, we will be, it'll probably just seem a little different than just a video that's recorded and then put on um, YouTube. But thanks everybody for joining us and if you have any questions, please comment and let us know because we love answering questions and helping out. If you are new to our group, I am Missy and this is my daughter Gabby. Hey. And um, we're, we have a lot of stuff that we're going to press today, so we're going to try to make it as fast as we possibly can. We're known for some long lives, um, but we're going to try to run through it as fast as we can. If we're going too fast, just let us know. We'll slow down and help you out. Um, we are going to be pressing earrings um, and a couple of larger blanks, um, new clocks that we just got in mouse pads, tree skirts, stockings, a bunch of new stuff that we just got in. Um, we've had it before last year for the holidays, but we're getting some newer items in that we've never had. So um, the clocks are new, the new shapes that we cut are new, um, but we're excited and um, we are going to do a couple of giveaways during this live. So um, I will tell you guys how to participate in those during the live. And um, if you're seeing this, like I said, on our YouTube um, channel after the live, it's already over with. Um, we are going to have an earring bundle that is good from starting today until the end of the weekend. So you'll be able to get a really good discount. On it. Um, I don't know if it did it to you guys, but it broke away for a minute. So we had to resume. Um, but what I was saying was we have an earring bundle that we're going to be doing. Um, it's good for the weekend and it's going to be most of the earrings that we're pressing here today and a few others. Um, so I will post information on that after we're done with the live. You got that fixed. Say hey when you jump on. What we're doing here is, um, these are our little ghost earrings. And they all come with a protective film on them. Gabby's already been kind and removed the protective film. And we're just taking our transfer and we're just putting the um, little ghost down on the transfer. And then um, we're going to use our, our sublimation tape, our heat tape that we have. And we're just going to tape the little ghost on. And we do have this heat tape on our website on outoftheworlddesigns.com if you need any tape. But we just tape them on there nice so they don't move around or get messed up. Whoops. Not, maybe not that big of a piece of tape, but, you know, uh, I pulled it a little hard there. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now is getting these earrings ready. Their earrings are super fun, and they're really good sellers, and they're easy to do. And the price is great, um, especially when you can get bundle deals like I'm doing for this weekend. But these are all one and a half inch earrings. And um, we are going to be pressing some turkey earrings, some um, coffee cup earrings. Um, what else is over here, Gabby? Coffee cups, turkeys, little trucks. Um, candy corn. ghosts, candy corn, and I am doing a candy corn um, pendant also. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how the pendants look. The pendants are really super fun to do. Um, if you can, um, we do offer all our earrings in an earring and necklace um, bundle. And if you do one of those sets where you have a pendant and matching earrings, it's so fun to do. 
and everybody really likes those. Your customers, um, you should definitely try a set out if you've never tried one. Your customers will really like them. And I'm going to show you guys how to do all that. Okay, so we're done with our earrings here. I'm going to let Gabby go ahead and press all of these so we can show you. You got all the earrings done? Because mm -hmm. there's some extra ones there's there. Extra, yeah, you didn't print any for this one. The, are we missing a sheet then, I wonder? Because I have pressed, I have printed out enough for all of them. Well, let's press these and I'll see what we're missing. So you're gonna turn your, um, your sublimation up. Make sure sublimation up. Make sure you have a piece of butcher paper down here. You want a piece of butcher paper because it, if there's any um, leftover ink, it will get on the butcher paper and not your pad. Then you're going to put another piece of butcher paper over top and you're going to press it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. You didn't check it. No. And definitely make sure you check your heat press before you do what Gabby just did. She's really bad at not checking her heat press. There you go. That was very light. <laughs> I, what was last. I, I think you did a hand towel. Now you want to show them how to remove the protective film. This is it heated. This is sitting underneath the heat press, so it's easier to peel. Okay. See how easy that was to prep um, to peel off. What she did is she stuck it underneath the heat press. Um, while it was heating up and she got them hot. She didn't press it, she just got it hot. And when you stick it underneath the heat press like that and you let it get warm, it's super easy to peel off. You don't have to worry about any chipping or um, cracking or anything like that because this is sublimated coating and it's just basically like um, paint that you would put on your fingernail. Um, I'm using it as an example, of course. It's not paint you put on your fingernail, but it's like that so it can chip. And if you yank it, it will um, can chip off. So make sure you're not doing that. The gloves are in the other room. Mm -hmm. You want me to go grab them? Yes, please. Okay. I don't want to burn my fingers today. You can come over here and look. Come closer. All right, so I'm just going to peel the earrings off. They're a little hot, so I'm dropping them fast. I don't have my little gloves in me at the moment. And you just peel it, and you just lay it back down, like so. It's burning my fingers. Candy corn, another coffee cup. That candy corn messed up. I'm burning my fingers. over here to this side real fast. Come back. Alright, here's your gloves. No more done. Huh. I think you asked if we carry sublimation dry erase boards. Yes, every every single um um, blank of ours is dry erasable. Even these little earrings. You can use dry erase on anything. So, um, 
we have we have some borers in here that we've pressed that I can show you um, in just a moment as soon as I find them. But yeah, all of our boards are dry erase. All of them. So we have those. I'm gonna grab a board I have from the room just sitting there. Um, while Gabby is gone, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to, um, we have these little earring hooks here. They are on our, um, website. These, um, we just got our other ones in. Um, we have more coming in Monday. So, I've already updated the website with the earring hooks. So, if you've been waiting on them, they're back in. Um, they're just a pinch style, so they're super easy to do. I'm going to show you here. You have your little ghost. You have your little earring hook. And then you just turn it and stick it in the hole. And then you just squeeze it and done. So that's how easy they are. They're pinch style earring hooks. Um, we have a bundle of them. You get 50 hooks. So um, they're on the website, and you can pick them up. They will not ship out until Monday. Um or Tuesday of next week because we don't have all of them in yet. Some are still coming in, but they are scheduled to be in Monday for sure. And we will ship them either Monday if they come early Monday morning or it'll be Tuesday. So if you put this in your order, it will not ship until Monday or Tuesday um, because tomorrow is Friday and it's our last shipping day of the week is tomorrow. Karen said, oh my gosh, you made a truck into an earring. Love, love, love it. Here is um, the little candy corn that Gabby made, and you do the same thing. Just squeeze it. Well, I squeezed it backwards, but you should squeeze it the other way. But I'm going to show you, because I did it backwards, how easy it is. Gabby, we hold this? Because I'm not at a table. I'll drop it. You just, she's going to hold the bottom piece. Normally, I'll do this at a table. You just take both of your fingers, and voila, it comes undone. So then I can just put it back the correct way. Wrong way. I'm still trying to do it the wrong way. There you go. I'm backwards. All right, there you guys go. See how awesome those are and easy and super, super fast. So, um, looks like this one we didn't have the transfer on, right? Boo. Boo for the boo. Where's the transfer? Did you throw it away? Yeah. I was going to say I can try to repress that side. I feel like I forgot that we didn't press. I feel like I'm missing a transfer because I had more coffee cups. You did, but you didn't have enough coffee earring. Yeah, but I have this one. Hmm. I don't know what I did then. Of course. Well, the, our new earrings are our little, I thought I had printed one out for this guy, but our new earrings are our coffee cups, our trucks, um, we already have those in earrings, so those aren't new, but our coffee cups, our candy corn, our little turkeys, our boo ghosts like this, then we have another ghost like that. We also have an acorn. That Mike didn't cut for Gabby. Yeah, he didn't cut that one. He forgot. We have an acorn. Well, we have nine different earring shapes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Acorn is seven. What am I witch missing? Hat. The witch hat is eight. eight. So I'm missing. Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Yes. The scarecrow. And you're about to see the scarecrow. Um, but we, we are going to press a larger scarecrow for you. And right, I'll show maybe you. not. I didn't flip the paper. Let me go flip the paper. All right, I'm going to show them. Let me go print another one, guys. I didn't flip the paper right. This is the um, turkey. This is it not under the heat press. It is a little bit more work to peel it off. It makes that noise, so you have to go really slow. That's why I like to put it underneath the heat press. And then it'll warm it up a little bit. 
Yeah, my towel doesn't have a little bit on it. Hold up. Hold up, peeps. Trying to get my bare tail. Okay. We're gonna press this super cute little turkey man. I don't know who did it, I forget. I think it was, I think it was Katrina. I'm not sure though. The turkeys are super duper cute. They're so cute. They have a cute little face. anything on it when I go to press it so if it has anything on it I always clean it off with my already dirty towel Should be good. Turn all the excess sweat off. Sorry, I should have done this before. All right, there we go. So I'm just gonna lay it down right here. I I size my print to my blank. Make sure it's even. There's some bleed line. Then I get a piece of tape. Okay, that's a big piece of tape. Gabby gets big piece of tape. Mickey has a bit of sizzle. Um, I think so, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I can ask my mother when she comes back into the room if we do. I'm sure we do though. If any of you girls have purchased before with Sizzle, let us know so we know that we do. Because I don't know. I mainly the shipper. I do all the shipping. Okay, let me make sure I got that down good. Kelsey said yeah. Alright, yeah. So yes, we do. Kelsey has confirmed it. Hey, Kelsey. All right. So we have it all lined up nice. I normally do not change my bottom paper because I will have a bleed line. See all this bleed line right here? I will have this bleed line. So I normally just leave the same paper down that I did for the earrings for this because it was just going to bleed onto it. And then I always, I always grab a new top sheet. So I got a new top sheet. I place a new top sheet down. Let's scoop that into there. And I just press it with all my weight. I'm, I'm weak. So I put all my weight onto it. Yep. <laughs> As the comments. Thanks, Karen. These are one of my favorite pants. I like leggings. I own a lot of them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my glove. I have these heat gloves I use to touch my planks with because the wood does get hot. So I normally just, when I go to peel it, I peel with one hand and hold the blank with the other. My my heat gloves are really big, so if you know any smaller heat gloves, let me know because we've been looking. All right, it's about to go off here. I'm gonna scoop these earrings back. All right, here be our super cute turkey. Look at how cute he 
Yes. Look at how cute. His little tiny feet. That's adorable. And, uh, I can't remember exactly whose design this is. My mom's not in the room to ask. So, I think, I think it's Katrina's. I'm not sure, though. So, let's hope I'm right. Turkeys are probably one of my favorites. Like, look how cute they is. Right there, and I'm gonna get the next thing ready. Um, it was Kelsey's turkey. It was Kelsey's turkey. I knew it was one of the, one of them, Kelsey or Katrina. Kelsey, your turkey's super duper cute. I love its little feet. So cute and tiny. Okay, so then next we have the truck. I'm going to move some of my other items over here. Sorry if I'm moving things around a lot. I was not prepared, obviously. Alright, so next we have the truck. This is going to be the same print as the little truck earrings. I'm going to line it up. I'm a perfectionist, so I like to get it perfect. So it might take me a minute. Okay, make sure I got it on the lines. And then I'm going to tape it down. If you have any questions, guys, just let me know. I can answer them, most likely. Okay, just double checking. Me to do it. I've already taped most of it down. So. Well, we'll hope for the best. No, I already know it's not me, right? Thank you for coming to my rescue. I didn't know what to do. You've been answering questions? There is no questions. Okay. Guys, if you have any questions, please let us know. Okay. okay. Mine, but Kelsey answered it because I didn't know the answer to it. Oh. <laughs> Um, please let us know if you have any questions about anything that we're doing. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I got this lined up correctly because I printed it a little larger um, than what I should have. That's what I get for trying to print things at um, 2 and 3 a.m. When I start making designs or printing or doing anything important that late at night, I wind up always messing something up. Either spelling or not flipping, it. not flipping it or something of that. So it might not press exactly the way we want it to, but it's going to go in my house, so I don't mind. All right. Um, yeah, it's just 
still leave the same butcher paper down and I'm just going to lay a new one over top and I do a hard press so hard she can't <laughs> so hard you can't get it down I'm going to mess I'm going to do our scarecrow over here real fast okay. This is the turkey, Mom. I didn't know whose it was, so I took a wild guess. I was wrong, like always. It's Kelsey's. I thought it was either, I said Kelsey or Katrina. It was one of them. Isn't it cute? The face she did for this turkey. I like his little feet. I know, I know, but look at that face. Don't you just want to squeeze its cheekies? No, I want to touch it. <laughs> that is the cutest. All of her turkeys are probably going to have that same face now. And he is just adorable. It is so cute. He's like... Tony asked what size that truck was. Um, that one is the nine inch truck. It's the one that fits on the eight and a half by eleven paper. Um, everything that we're pressing today, we kept um for the eight and a half by eleven paper because some um ladies don't can't print the bigger ones. Um, but we do have it in the larger size also. Uh -huh. The transfer wasn't off. It wasn't filled. You didn't fill the protective film off? I guess not. Okay, we will have no truck because this is what happens if you don't peel the protective film off. So make sure you peel it off, Gabby. All of them are peeled but that one. Is this one? Uh, I think so. I'm not sure though. Yeah, you peel it off. You didn't put it underneath the heat press when you did. Okay, yeah, this one doesn't have that. All of them are filled with the one. Oopsie doopsie. Okay, well, I'm going to go see if Mike has us another truck. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. Um, here is the Scarecrow, and we're going to do that one. And whose is this? That is Katrina's. Um, Katrina's. Katrina. This one's Katrina's. Okay, we're going to press it. Hard. Ugh. I'm going to put my glove on. I'm going to hang it ready for when it comes out. We will be pressing some new things today. Some new items that has been added. And then we'll be pressing some garden flags. So who doesn't love garden flags? I like garden flags. And this is our scarecrow. We also have this in earrings. Little tiny earrings. Mike's going to see. Uh -huh. The other coffee. Do you have one? You have a baby one? Can you print me a transfer? This is um, four, 420. Or you can do 410, probably. All right. Oh, super pretty. If you ask how long you press for. 60 seconds. Everything is 60 seconds. And here is the scarecrow. Look how cute he is. Um, Katrina and Kelsey, this turkey and the scarecrow, they both hand drew these. So these are hand-drawn designs. You can see the detail in hers. It is amazing. So everybody say awesome job, Katrina and Kelsey, because if you look at theirs, they hand draw everything, the shading, all of it, they hand draw it. So it's really, really beautiful work. And um, these would look so good on a door with a little, um, a little bow. Oh yeah, it's a double bow. And what temp do you press it? 400. 400 uh, 60 seconds hard press. Normally when you order all blanks from us, normally when you order all blanks from us, um, there will be a little sticky note or a little sticky on top to where I'll tell you what print, what time and how hard and stuff like that. I'll be back, Gabby. Now we're doing another little, we're doing some earrings. Got to line them up. 
Okay, I'm gonna make sure I did that. She's already did that. Okay, I think that's right. Let's cross our fingers. I don't like lining things up. I normally make my mom do it. I'm like, Mom, is this right? Then she'll take it. And I'm like, okay. Thank you. I really like the coffee. I'm a big coffee girl anyways. When I like the holiday coffees the most out of all the coffees. And they have like the gingerbread man and the pumpkin spice and the peppermint twist. Trying to line this one up now, too. Alright. That one looks a little faster. Amy asked, How do I buy subprints for the smaller Texas hangers from Gabby's Designs? I don't see them on the website to buy the prints. Um, you, I only do digitals. So I don't print any prints. You will have to message Missy and um, tell her the ones that you're needing and she will put them up on the website for you. And then you can order them from her website because um, I don't sell the prints. I only sell digitals. Okay. Here is the truck. We'll let it heat up while you're doing that. Do you need some help? No, I'm just doing the little, the little um, turkeys. I'm sad about the truck. I'm sorry. So I peeled the turkey. Okay, that ain't gonna come off. <laughs> nope. I said nope. Oh, did you tell me you did have the other... The other, um out of this. It's in the trash can. Let me see which one it is. I'm trying to line the little people up. I don't like lining things up. You really don't like lining stuff up at all. No, I always ask you to. When you leave, I'm like, uh, what do I do now? I'm hoping I line those little coffees up today. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Do you want me to look at it? Yeah, it's already pink though. Did you line the little trees up? Well, I don't think I can do the other side. Do, 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 do. Okay, I got the turkeys lined up. You wanna look at these? I'm sad. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yep, that's that. Good. Well, I had to check that one. I'm peeling it. Well, I didn't check it yet. Check what? To make sure it was the right size. It's fine, it's peeled. <laughs> you just wanna make sure it's peeled. Yeah, I don't want to make another mistake. That one looks good. Always, 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 always double check to make sure you peel your protective film off. Why did that one seem like it? I think these are going to press a little bigger. I think Mike printed them a little bigger than they should be. 
You say it? Yeah. Maybe it'll be fine. Okay. There you go. Let me see the truck, please. Here is the little truck. Well, I'll wait until that's done then. I'm gonna go ahead and peel my Yeah, that's what my mom does. She trims as close as she can to the to the item, and then she'll tape it. We're gonna wing it. I think it might be a smidge too small, but we're not gonna go print another one and start over. We're just gonna wing it. Where do you guys buy the butcher paper from? Sam's Club. Buy from Sam's Club. You can get a whole roll roll of it for twenty bucks, and it lasts forever. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Next, we're going to be pressing one of our new items. Yeah, we can do the mouse pads if you got them ready. Um, we have, we normally have only these square mouse pads, but we had a request for the round ones. So now we have the square and the round mouse pads. Um, Gabby made us up some designs last night for both. So um, all the designs you're going to see are new and they're going to be on her Etsy page. Um, I know the other designers are working on some designs. All of this stuff is new, ladies, that you're seeing, like the new shapes. They're new shapes that we, um, I hand drew the shapes out. Then I had to um, vectorize them and send them over to the designers. So all the designers are still working on different designs for the new shapes. Um, and also they're working, we have license plates in now. So they're working on designs for those. Um, just all the new stuff. So just be patient with them. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming up really soon. Um, but make sure you're active on the group so you can see everything. What size is your heat press? Mine is a 16 by um, 20. Okay. There are little puppy These are cute. Those are cute. Here's the little truck. Super cute. I wish we could show it in a big one so you guys could really see how uh, it would look. But here's the little ornaments. Love it, love it, love it. I actually hand drew this myself. So every single thing on here, except for this broom, I drew. Um, so this design can be found on my um, website, outoftheworlddesigns.com. Then you have these cute little earrings. Sorry, they're hot. These, this design is from Kelsey. And then we just pressed some more of her football turkey earrings because they're cute. But you can tell I, I um, printed it out a little too big. So it needs to be a little tiny, bit smaller. But um, my neighbor wanted a pair of these little turkey earrings. So I needed to press two. So super cute stuff. So far, Gabe, shine, put it down here. Where's the, the scarecrow? What'd you do with him? Mm -hmm. Let me find him. Out of the stuff that you see here on the table, which one, comment below for your chance to win a set of earrings of your favorite one. It can even be the scarecrow or the truck or the turkey. Even though they're in the big form, they still come in the small form too. So comment now and this is your chance to win a pair of free earrings. And we'll even include the little hooks to go on your earrings. So um, comment now and tell us which one we've pressed so far today is your favorite. Is it the turkey? Is it the scarecrow? Is it the little coffee cups? The boo, is it the candy corns? Which one is your favorite? Where's the other candy corn? We only had one. No, no, no. Oh, okay. And here's another candy corn too. 
Has little witch moons on it. No moons. Yeah, this one has little witch moons. So cute. That would look really cute with a fall outfit. Okay. All right. While you guys are commenting, Gabby is going to um, do a mouse pad. The mouse pad, you're going to have to adjust the temperature. So move this one out of the way. Probably lay one down. Yeah. She's going to adjust the. Um, yeah, you need a harder. She's going to adjust the pressure. Make sure that you're adjusting their pressure. Well, maybe you didn't have to adjust it too much. That's too tight. She, she went way too hard. <laughs> okay, that's good. So just make sure you're checking your pressure before you actually press your item. So we've got the transfer on there. You're going to... Um, you do not have to do these for 60 seconds. You can do these for 40 seconds and they will be fine. Or you can go the whole 60. But they're at 400 degrees. So we're going to show you. Um, I think she's got two or three designs of each. Um, well, we got a lot of them out. The square mouse pads she made. So we're going to do some of them and show you guys how they look and show you some of the designs. We have a clock still to do, so make sure you stick around for our clock. Um, and it's a wall hanging clock, or you can set it down. It's got a stand. You can do it either way. Also, um, make sure you stick around for our garden flags because we're going to be pressing three garden flags, too. They're double-sided garden flags. So stick around just a little longer. And um, you'll get to see some great stuff. Until then, if you have any questions, please let us know. I'm going to show you our clock while that's working. Here is the round clock. It's got a protective film on it, too, so it'll be nice and pretty. Then it has a back stand. And then it has a hanging stand. And, and it is battery operated. Um, and it does have the little handles, too. Here's the little packet of handles that you'll get. And this is hot. This is the mouse pad that I made. It says be happy. Super cute. A little Do you have that in a tumbler print too? Um, not the be happy, but I have the queen bee. I have the queen bee in the tumbler, and then I have a princess bee so it can to match. match the mommy. And the mommy can match the mouse pad, so they're all matching set. Yep. Okay. Lay this one down. It's really hot. <laughs> all right. Now we're gonna press another circle one. I'll be back while you're pressing that. Okay. okay. Make sure you answer any questions. All right. I'll look. If you guys have any questions, just let us know. Okay. My favorite shape is not here. My favorite shape is the acorn. I think the acorn is super duper cute. I don't know why. That, and then I have to say coffee. I like the little coffee cups. I'm a coffee girl, so I can so I see myself during the holidays with holiday earrings and with a little coffee. What is the tempting time for the car coast shoots? Um, she said 400, um, either for, you can do 60 seconds or 40, she said. So, either one of those. I'm doing 60 because I already have it at 60, and I don't want to change the temperature. If I was just doing coasters, I'd probably just do 40. So, but you can do either or. It's not going to make a difference. Here is my all glitter leopard print mouse pad. This one also has a matching tumbler that I made um, last up night. What? Pour it up a little high. Hot. It has the glitter inside, glitter outside, and glitter background. There's nothing ever too much glitter. You can never have too much glitter. And then this one has a matching tumbler also. That is on my Etsy. 
So you can have this at work, you know, and then you have your matching tumbler sitting there. Perfect. Okay, now we are going to do the square ones. Let me get those out. I have a couple of those. I have them all piled up right here. So I'm having to rearrange to get to the other ones. Okay. Okay. The car coasters, are they already the size needed or do they need to adjust? Um, what do you mean by that? Like the prints or? I'm assuming the prints. If you order from Missy, if you're a supplementation buyer, they'll come to the size they need. If you're digital, it should, act, when you do buy the coasters digitally, it should come in the size you need, but sometimes it doesn't and you do need to shrink it. Okay. We are going to be doing um, a one of the now rectangle mouse passport. I just pulled that tape off. Mm -hmm. Glad I noticed that before I pressed it because I don't want any upsets. Okay. All right. Go ahead and get the next one ready and also answer some questions. Let's see this reads. Also, I noticed there isn't the half moon on the coaster cut out. What do you mean by um, a little indent that it has on all the sides? Oh, okay. Um, all the little coasters should have a little indent, right? Yeah, they should have one. These she, do not. I think she's talking about on the print, it didn't have it. No, no, no. On the print, it won't have the little indent on it. It'll just be a full circle. Yeah, you don't, it, because it's easier to line up that way. None of the car, you're talking about the car coasters. Yep. No. Yeah, the car coasters. That's really pretty. Hold on, I have one that I pressed somewhere. Uh. Or uh, some designers might have it the indent on uh, in their designs, but I don't put them in my designs, nor does Gabby, just because it's so much easier to not have to worry about that, worrying about lining that little indent up. This is what oh, that is pretty. And this one, if you girls know has a matching tumbler. Yes. This is one of my probably biggest sellers is the succulent glitter. So I made the mouse pad for all of y'all. That would look pretty in white or pink. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, I do too. But this is the car, one of our car coasters. And we have a ton of car coasters in. So y'all go get them if you want them. But they come plain. Let me show you a plain one. Come on, this one up. I'm going to shut that. I'll be right there. Um, they come plain like this, but all of the transfers I make, this is one of my designs here. I, I make a full circle. I don't include this little indent because that just makes it harder for you to line up. I think I like things to be simple and easy. Do that little, just like any of our signs that, um, let me see. Sorry if you're seeing my face. This was one of our Easter things. You set it down, and then it ha you set Easter eggs on this side, and you set Easter eggs on this side. Well, this is the top piece for it. All the transfers I did, I just did a rectangle transfer. Because could you imagine lining each and every oh. ear up? 
to the thing. If I can make life easier for everybody, I do. So the same thing with my car coasters. I make sure that I have a full circle and I don't use the little indent here. Plus, I'm gonna be honest with you, depending on what manufacturer you get for them, this indent can be much bigger. It can be wider, it can be deeper. I mean, the same thing with our, um, everything that you buy from us, this scarecrow. This scarecrow was designed by me. I hand drew the actual, the shape of him. Then I vectorized him and sent them over to the girls and they made these, okay? Last night, we had a customer, bless her heart, we helped her, but we had a customer that had bought a snow globe from us and she had bought some designs from us for her snow globe, but she had bought another design of a snow globe from someone else and it didn't fit she printed it and it didn't fit our blank well our the designers for our group make them based off our blank templates not anybody else's so when you're purchasing a blank from our group the blanks that are not made from china or anywhere else they're made by me here um my husband cuts them i design i'm the one who draws out the shapes so, um, they're made here. You can't go on the internet and just look up a scarecrow that looks similar to ours and expect it to press onto it. Same thing with the snow globe. The snow globes or any other turkeys, coffee cups, even the, down to the candy corns. You will assume, oh, well, every candy corn is the same, but it's not because I hand drew this candy corn line by line. I mean, it's a triangle, but I mean, the curves could be different everything i drew those so um every shape is different so i'm hoping i'm explaining this correctly um you need to make sure that either you're getting a template from me that you can make your own design or either you're buying designs from our designers that fit our blanks okay and that should be the same on every group um, and it's the same with the car coasters the car coasters could be totally different from ours to the next. I know that I've been told that I have one of the thickest car coasters because um, we buy this kind so they can go in the wash machine. If these get dirty in your car, knows Gabby has washed hers a hundred times. They just go straight in the wash machine and wash them. They look brand new. But um, we have one of the thickest ones around. Mo um, ours is a five millimeter and most everybody's is a three millimeter. So everywhere is different, okay? Um, but I just make a circle, so pretty easy. Can, okay. can you do tumblers and the cup press? Yes, I actually have a video that I just loaded last night of me doing a tumbler and a, it's on our YouTube page. If you're not familiar with our YouTube page, um, it, there's a post topic on the group. If you go to the post topic, It'll have our YouTube page. I can also, it's in our announcement section to our YouTube page. But um, our YouTube page, I just posted a video last night of myself doing one in a um, cut press. And also, um, we have a wonderful customer and friend now, um, Karen. Karen. She did a, um, did a video for all of us, and she allowed me to post it on our YouTube. So she has one on our YouTube, and I have one on our YouTube now. So they are able to be done in a cup press, 100%. Um, it takes a longer. Um, I, I like doing it in the cup press, honestly. I can go grab the cup that I did, um, but you can see the video also of me doing one. Um, that's another thing. Let me explain to you guys about um, the transfers for the cups. Oh, sorry, but Gabby. The, um, the tumblers, we've had a lot of ladies that are ordering designs from our designers or prints from me. And the prints that you get with us or the designs you get for us are for the tumblers or the sippy cups. They go for our blanks. They don't match other people's blanks. So you have to make sure that you're ordering from our blanks or either send us a message and let us give you the dimensions of ours to see if they will work with yours. I know a designer last week, she had a lady um, purchase two of her tumbler prints and they didn't work with the cups she had. Um, on the designer's pages, they even put my logo on there and you can find blanks here. 
So, you, everybody, please read when you're purchasing something because um, she was able to help the customer, but she wasn't able to refund her anything because it's a digital download. Once you download it, it's yours. Um, it's not like a tangible item that you can take back. But um, our designers are really, really sweet, and we work with everybody as best as we can, and she was able to help her and make it fit what she needed. But when you buy things from our group, um, you need to make sure it's going to fit what you're trying to make it fit if it's not a blank from our group. Because I know lots of other places sell blanks too. I understand that 100%. Um, but you, I just don't want nobody to get anything that won't work for them. We want everybody to be happy and everybody to get what they need. And I'll go grab that cup real fast. <laughs> This one off the press while she was talking. This is another one of my designs for the mouse pad for men or women. It's our red line, so for all our firefighters and stuff. And this also has a matching tumbler with it, so the men or you can have a tumbler and a matching mouse pad. And then I also have a balloon line, one that I'll be pressing here in a minute. So there's that. And it's the rugged flag look, so it has all like the chips in it and everything. Let's see me get them ready. I'm trying to get them all ready while she was talking. So I have to sit here. This is the one my mother um, put her monogram in the middle because she loved it so much. This is my sunflower glittery mouse pad that also has a matching tumbler to it. <laughs> Most of my mouse pads have matching tumblers. This one has the matching tumbler and then this one also has a sippy cup similar to it. So another three piece kind of matching set this one yes distress that's what it is the distressed look mom I pressed your mouse pad Oh, I love that. It's really pretty. Here is the <clears throat> the tumbler I pressed in the um, mug press. And this is the, the video that you're going to find on YouTube. We'll have this one. And um, it's the ombre look. So it's quite beautiful. And I did it in a mug press. And this is the tapered tumbler, okay? We have some straight ones coming in that's going to be completely straight all the way down. And it's going to be 20 ounces too. But this is the tapered. So, love it. But that, I did that in a mug press. And I have a video on our YouTube channel. I do also, while we're talking about tumblers, I want to show you guys. Don't be afraid of these colored ones. This is one of our pink tumblers. They're the pink shimmer tumbler. And look how beautiful they turn out they are gorgeous so do not be afraid of these colored ones i actually really like pressing these more than i do the white ones just because of the, the look it is absolutely gorgeous so do not be afraid of these um colored ones they're beautiful um here is one of the the white ones this is the design both of these designs are on my Etsy, I mean, my um, website, outoftheworlddesigns.com. But see how shimmery white? It's so beautiful. Do not be afraid of the shimmer ones. They are gorgeous. And Kelly, thank you for your service for being a firefighter. Thanks. I'm the kiosk lady.
This one is um, Chaos Coordinator, and we have a matching um, a matching Chaos um, Creator in a little sippy cup that we did too. But I wanted to show you. This is Gabby's paper here, and I am begging her to sh to sell this paper to you guys. So if you like how I mean, not the words, but this paper. If you like her paper. That you see here. I have a lot of paper. Tell her that she needs to put her paper in a bundle and sell it to everybody. Look how gorgeous it is. This is all handmade by Gabby. And it is beautiful paper. Just beautiful. I love it. So you need to comment now if you want to buy Gabby's papers. And tell her to put them in a bundle for everybody to get. I just wanted to show that. I, this design is actually on my um, website, so you can buy the design, but um, I had made it for a request, and I requested this, but Gabby's Papers is what I used, and I really, really liked it. Well, I just want the paper. <laughs> I have a lot of paper, too. All right, so I already finished the mouse pads, and this is the new one I did oh, that's um, pretty. last night. This one also has a matching tumbler that is brand new to the page. So I love this one. This one's one of my favorites. And then we also have the blue line, a distress flag on the wood, and it also has a matching tumbler. Most of my I'm gonna go the um, mouse pads already... have matching tumblers. You already have some in here? Yeah. Not the brown ones. We need the white the ones. Double sided ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I grabbed them one. Don't and really um, right here. Oh. All my stuff on my Etsy, when you purchase it, all the funds go to my college. And I just got accepted to Precise, so yay! Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Unfortunately, I can't do nursing program because of COVID right now. They told us the programs are not available because you can't do in person. And they can't do them online, so I'm just doing medical billing and coding. So let's hope that goes good. I'm excited, though. So if you like... The mouse pads go by them. These are the round ones. And then I also have the square ones. This is my distress flag. My distress flag. For all our um, cops out there and police officers. And then we have the, this is iridescent. It's like the iridescent glitter with the little. I'm dropping everything. What is it, Abby? leopard and tries to speak and I can't. And then we have the sunflower with the glitter. This is my mom's. And this also has a matching tumbler to it. And then we have the firefighter one. Or the chef's firefighter. What? And then probably my favorite, the succulent one. I just love succulents and the colors are so pretty. The prop camera doesn't give it enough justice. Okay, and those are all our new mouse pads. I love the mouse pads. <sighs> I wish I had more computers so I could have more mouse pads. <laughs> Alright, next item we'll be pressing is the clock. Somebody asked what your page is, Gabby. Uh, my page is Lunchbox Friends. I am going to post a link now where you guys can find all the designers. I just posted a link um, on this video where you can find all the designers links. It is a link to my website and you will see all the designers links on there. And um, Gabby is the first one on there. But you will see all of the links here. Katrina is the one that had the um, the little scarecrow. Kelsey is the one that has the turkeys. Uh, Amanda is the one that has the ghost that you've seen today. Um, Melissa's, we're going to be pressing a clock for Melissa. So we've not done anything for Melissa yet. Tina had one of the coffee cups. And Tina actually has a flag that I'm going to be pressing in a moment. So you can see all the designers' links on the, um, the, candy corn the website. That is Amanda's. And then I had the Witch's Brew Little Coffee. 
And then... Kelsey has the other coffee. Kelsey, this is Kelsey's. And then also... The turkey's Kelsey's. Yeah, I showed the turkey's when you were saying it. That's the candy corn. That's one of mine. And then my mom's truck. That's on Out of the World Designs. I don't know, think I got the truck up there yet, though, but I'll And then we're about way. to do the um, clocks. I'm letting it heat up so I don't hurt it. And Candy Allen asks, will the clock designs be on the site? Yeah, um, not everything is up yet, so if you guys want to, if you want us to tag you when we have all, we don't have the blanks up yet, so if you guys want us to tag you when we have the blanks and all the designs up on the um, our websites, just comment now, tag, 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 and we will make sure that we tag you once we have all the blanks up and all the designs up. And we'll just tag you and say, hey, everything's ready. Here you go. Some of my mouse pads ain't up. So, like, I think the... Did you do this one in the mouse pad? No, let me look. The other one didn't fit, so I was trying to figure out what was up. Had it set to the side. Okay, and then we're going to do one of my mom's mouse pads. Dang, I love all these mouse pads. I really do. I can't keep them all. <laughs> I just got a new mouse pad too before she told me we were having mouse pads because I sit there at the computer and I do all the digitals and stuff. Um, I have a like a little table thing that sits up and high and it has like this little bump on it and it hurts my wrist sometimes so I got a cushioned mouse pad and then she tells me she's got mouse pads and I'm like, woman. Now I'm just going to have to use both. One for my bed and one for my bedroom. And then one for out there. Yep. You can put a mouse pad on your mouse pad. Yeah, you can just put a mouse pad on the mouse pad. Cover <laughs> up the design on the other one. Just use the bump. <laughs> or you can just stack up enough mouse pads to make a table. <gasps> mouse pad table. Do you, um... Honestly, you could probably use this, I was just thinking, the mouse pad as a little poster. Like, if you have, if you work, like, at the computer, like I do, I eat my dinner at the computer sometimes, and I eat my dinner, I eat my lunch at the computer, you can just have the little mouse pad there and set your little plate on top of the mouse pad. I'm going to show you guys the pendant. We have the pendant um, on the website also. It is, it matches the earrings, and it's a pink style too, so you just take your pendant, you put it in, and you squeeze, and done. So, no fooling with any hooks or anything like that. Just super easy uh, and pendants done. And then you can add a little chain on there. And um, what, if you guys want, I can do a live one day and just show you how to make just earrings and chains. Um, and we can sit down and I can actually show you how to make an, a necklace. Um, but they're super easy. We get our stuff from Amazon and you just cut a chain and add a hook and done. Melissa, um, one of our designers, has some great videos on making necklaces, too. Um, but I wanted to show you guys that so you can find those on the website. Yeah. And this is my mom's mouse pad. She made. Oh, I love it. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, it looks so good. You like it? Yeah, me too. <laughs> you like so much, and we'll have two new mouse pads. Mouse pads are good gifts too. Good gifts. They're good stocking gifts too. You can roll them up like that and shove them in there. All right, guys, I am about to post the link now to the earring deal that is good until Sunday only. The earring deal is a really, really good deal. Um, it is for one and a half inch earrings. It's for all the new shapes that we have. You get 18 pairs of earrings for $12. So you get 18 pairs of earrings for 12 bucks. You can get as many bu bundles as you want. Um, you, if you need double sided, you can, the double sided is just a little bit more. Um, the double sided is 
Most everybody uses the single sided. We by far sell way more single sided than double sided. Um, uh, the single sided more because it has the wood look to the back of it. Yeah. But I just posted that link in for you guys right there. So make sure you add those to your car. Go ahead and add them to your car. And um, just make sure you check out by Sunday, okay? They're going to be that price until Sunday, and then they go back to the normal price. Got the press o'clock, guys. All right, fingers crossed because this is Oh, what... I need to check the pressure. Give me yeah. another one. Let me make sure you got it lined up good. Um, the other one's on, up underneath there, too. Oh, you already got it out. Um, right this is our on. first time pressing a clock. So fingers we're... crossed. We're going oh. You already have the, the protective yeah. sheet off. Okay. Yeah, take everything off that one. Yep, take it off that one. This is working on over here. This is a big piece of tape. Whoopsie doopsie. All right, let's make sure we got our pressure right. It's probably going to get in some. All right. <laughs> You're going to need more. It's thicker. Yeah. I I'm not sure what millimeter the clock is, but it's, you can take it down a little bit more so it's not so hard on you and it don't ghost. Um, I'm not sure what temperature the, I mean, how thick the clock is. I can get Mike to check it with his calibers, but it's much thicker than, see, you see the clock and then you see our normal blank. Our normal blank is three millimeter. Um, the clock is not ours. We didn't make it. I had it made for us and got it shipped in. But you can see the difference. Um, but I can't remember how thick it was. All right, so we're pressing it for the first time with you guys. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. If it if it's bad, then we all know together. Cross those toes <laughs> too. <laughs> Cross the fingers. Cross everything you can. In the toes. Mm -hmm. We we do not sell anything at all that we do not try first. So anything that we put on the website, you know that we have tried it, we have tested it, we have done everything we needed to make sure it was good. Because I don't want nobody to get something that they shouldn't. After that, after the clocks, the only thing we have left are the garden flags and we have stockings and a tree skirt. So we're going to um, press a few of those for you guys too. My son is working on some mock-ups for the tree skirt, and he's going to um, have that on his sister's Etsy for sale um, once he gets done with his mock-ups. He's a really good photographer, and we've been driving him crazy to do mock-ups to do mock-ups because he goes to college next year, and he can make him some college money with that. So he's gonna um, he's doing a tree skirt mock-up for everybody, and um, he's gonna post it on Gabby's Etsy. I the right hand. I'm ready. I'm alrighty, guys. Okay. Let me take a peek. Oh, it looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, I won't, I won't, I don't, I don't want to clock in my room, guys. <laughs> Hot, man. Maybe, maybe it's where I can hold it right. There you go. Here, once you get the, set it down here and get the other glove on. Or just put it here to be, there you go. What do you guys think about that? Did you take off the shrink wrap? Yes, I made sure this time there. Yeah, she took it off this time. <laughs> the protective film, she took off. I do it by almost like once, a, once every video, live video, I mess up one. This, um, this one here is my design. It is on, um... My Etsy, I mean not my Etsy, my website. I keep yeah. saying my Etsy. Here, sit there, there. Okay, now she's going to do another one. Um, this one is Melissa's. Oh Melissa, I think, has um, six. No, 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 no. You need to put the butcher paper on. Oh. Melissa has, um, I think, six clocks ready to go. Some of the other designers might have some clocks I'm not aware of yet. But I know Melissa, um, before she went to bed last night, she made, she did six different clocks. Um, the only one I have at this time is um, the one that you just seen. Candy, you are right. It'd probably be, a uh, clock would be cute with a family photo in the middle of it. Yes. 
um, I, ha I have um, some that I'm working on now that um, you're able to insert a photo in the middle of them. Um, and they still have the time around them. So I do have some coming up. I started working on them last night, but it was getting too late. And I couldn't get it finished because I was going to press one today with our photo in it to go in my living room. But I didn't have time to get it done. See, the thing is, is too many new blanks, not enough designing time. Yeah, okay? that's right. <laughs> That's how I feel. I sit down and then I get custom requests for like tumblers and other things and I'm like, okay, gotta do custom requests. Then I gotta do this, then I gotta do that, then I gotta do this. I have like a little note, my little notepad. It's full of things I gotta do and I just mark them off as I go. Oh, it looks so good. Alright, so this one says beer 30. This is a, that's a good one for a band cave. So, and that one's done by Melissa. She got that one done last night. Yes, Amber, the clocks come all together. As soon as they cool down, I'm going to show you guys how to do the gears and everything on them. So, I'm going to show you everything, okay? As soon as they got to cool down, and I'm going to show you how to put the gears on them and how to work them. Can you get me another piece? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, now we're going to work on our garden flags. Um, they're double-sided. They are amazing. Best garden flags I've ever had. And I've been doing sublimation blanks for a long time. And these are the best ones I've ever had. So, <clears throat> I'm going to make sure I got my pressure right. Because you want the it tight as you can get. So, you get a really good um, press. press. I can't do it. You're right there. Sorry. <laughs> We're bumping each other. I'm just trying to clean up my area. Your pressure as tight as you can get for anything that you're pressing. It's not like when you're doing t-shirts or anything like that. It's not like when you're doing hand towels. When you're doing flags or hard hard blanks like we're doing, you want it as tight as you can get it. The tighter the better because then you're able to um, to make sure you got a good bleed. Okay? And it will look brighter. Yeah. So this transfer here is one of Tina's. It says Welcome Fall. And these are double sided flags, but for some reason I just noticed that I did not print this one twice, or either my my um printer decided not to print it twice. But this one is I'm gonna print it again um and then do the other side and I'll update the pictures. But I do have another one I can show you for both sides, okay? But I want to make sure I print this one, I mean press this one, because I really, really like this design Tina did. And it is so beautiful. Tina makes some of the best flags. I like making flags too, so I love it when I see another designer make flags. So, always, if you see, there's an extra line around here that um, I make sure that there's good bleed, okay? I print mine 12 and a half by... 18 and a half so there's a really good bleed all the way around I just tape it down with the heat tape the heat tape can be found on our website if you've never tried our heat tape it is amazing and everybody that tries it loves it so you just make sure your flag is real good and smoothed tape down and then you just flip it over and Put another piece of butcher paper on top. And if you do have a small, smaller heat press, you don't be afraid to try a flag out. You can still do a flag, okay? I'm going to tell you guys how. There is, um, at your Home Depot, your Lowe's, anywhere, hardware store, you have this really thin plywood, okay? Go get you a piece that's about the size of a flag. can be a little bigger. You really don't want it smaller, okay? Get you a piece of that plywood. Then you're going to put you a piece of butcher paper over the plywood, and then you're going to put your flag down, your design on top, and you're going to tape it just like I did. But because you are shifting it, you probably need to add extra tape, okay? 
I used to have a smaller heat press and I've done this many times. And you just press half and then move the wood over. So you're not move, touching the design. You're just moving the wood over and press the other half. And it so works. Um, we used to do that all the time, Gabby and I, until I upgraded to a bigger press. This was many, many, many years ago. Um, but it works great. And you just, but let me show you, Gabe, if you'll show. When you're lifting your press, when you're doing it, um, make sure you're super, I unlocked it, and you go super slow, okay? Because you do that, if you don't go slow, you can ghost it. Ghosting it means you'll take your image from here and it'll move down here. It's the weirdest thing ever, but it happens so often. Okay. Look how pretty that flag is. Tina, you're amazing. I don't know if Tina's on here or not. She might be at work today because she has another job. But I'll let Gabby pick it up. It's super hot. Tina makes the best designs. Let me pull this tape off the sides. In the top. In the top. In the bottom. Um, these are, like I said, this is a double-sided flag. If Gabby flips it around, you won't be able to see the design on the other side. I have a finished one. I so, yeah, we have some finished double-sided over there we can show you. But um, we're going to press another one, too. Gabby, don't put that on your phone. It's cooling down. Okay. It's not on her they cool down really fast. It's just Here's um, one that I did um, a few weeks ago. I was going to put it outside, and I still haven't because this is for our house. But this is the double-sided. This design is on my website, All the World Designs. But you see, you can't see through it. Just amazing. The quality of these flags are absolutely amazing. And I'll tell you guys, um, I'm all about bulk buying. So you can buy the single flag on the website or you can buy a 10 piece, a 50 piece, and a 100 piece. Always make sure you check when you're um, looking down on our website, make sure you always check to see if I offer a bulk option because normally a bulk option is where you get a much better price for everything. And I do it for mouse pads, there's a bulk option. For car coasters, there's a bulk option. For garden flags, there's a bulk option. Um, there's bulk options for a lot of things that I offer. All right, you have a lot of questions. One girl says, are they on your page? I'm thinking she's referencing maybe the clocks. The clocks are not up yet because it's a brand new item. But those will be up today. These are already on. The garden flags are already on. The, bl the hardwood blanks that we did are already on. And Kelly asked what size is your dress? A 16 by 20. 16 by 20. It's a big another one. Look at that big boy. The, what you're seeing today that still needs to be added to the website is going to be the round mouse pad. We need to add the round mouse pad. We need to add the clocks. We need to add the stockings and the tree skirts. So, that one's upside down. They're, <laughs> They're both upside, upside down. down. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to teach you I'm how to do... Upside down. If you don't already know, I'm going to teach you how to do a double-sided flag, okay? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to press Tina's. I really wanted to do that one double-sided because that's going in my yard for fall. But, um, here is a new print. If you haven't seen this design, I made it yesterday. Um, I actually hand-drew these ladies. Um, so this is my work here. And I'm going to show you how to do both sides. First, make sure you have your par um, butcher paper or parchment paper laid down. And then you line your flag up the way you want it. And you can see I made sure I had an overlap because I want to make sure I got all of the flag. I'm going to tape it down in four places using the heat tape. Okay. And then I'm going to flip it over and we're going to press, and Gabby's going to put a piece of butcher paper on top. And we're going to press it just like we just did our other one. Make sure that isn't flipped. Okay. We're going to press it just like we just did our other one. And then we're going to flip it and do the next side. I get asked all the time how to do both sides. So I'm so happy that I'm going to be able to show you guys today how to do both sides. And somebody asked, will you have pencil-shaped keychains or earrings, earrings yes. available soon? 
we have a pencil shake coming up and we have a bus um, a school bus um, Gabby yes. Gabby asked for a school bus so we have a school bus um, I'm, I've asked for a lot of shakes she has asked for a lot of shakes <laughs> um, but they're taking me time because all these shapes you see I have to hand draw them first then I have to vectorize them and I have to get them over to the designers and then I have to add them on the website it is so time-consuming it is unreal so um, but I'm working on the pencil actually the pencil is done it just needs to be vectorized the um the bus i'm starting on next that is the one gabby asked me so i wanted to release the pencil and the bus together because the bus is so adorable that gabby requested gabby's requested a bunch of new shapes um there's a bee a frog an owl an owl um a bus a house um and there's a new shape that i'm not allowed to tell yet so gabby has it ready because it's top secret shape, but it's amazing and I love it. <laughs> All right, so let's see how it looks. And if there's any shapes you guys want, if you can pull that up for me, you got the glove on. If you guys, if there's any shapes you want that we don't offer that you're looking for, please let us know because I'm pretty good at um, making shapes come to life and drawing out what you need. So if it's not too crazy we can do it all right and can you ask with the garden flags do they come with something to hang them outside no. no you you have to buy the pole um they sell poles at dollar tree and they sell poles at walmart any most hardware stores have poles i love this i love I that too this in my room Butterfly <laughs> should still have to be outside too. You can hang a string and hang it in your room. A hundred percent. But this design can go on one of our hardwood blanks too. Look. Th this this goes in my room. Nope. You can put this design on this. Oh yes, and this is a dry erase board. Um somebody asked for. Yeah, Let's she see. can show you guys how the dry erase board works. I have many dry erase designs on my Etsy, like notes and calendars. Do and you guys many. love this? I love it. All right, um, let's put another piece of paper down. Now, when you're doing the opposite side, make sure you change your paper out, okay? You need to change your paper out so you don't get anything on your other side. So, Gabby's going to change out our paper, and we're going to show you how to do it. For anything but normally the hardboard, I changed the paper out. The mouse pads I didn't because I didn't have to do both sides. Okay, so now you're going to flip it over like so and you're going or sorry let's put the transfer down flip it over and just line it up the exact same way you just did okay i cannot wait to hang this flag in my yard i love garden flags guys i'm obsessed and then you just tape it down the same way make sure it's smoothed out you tape it down the exact same way you did the front. I only tape it four times because I'm pretty good um, at knowing. I've been doing sublimation for almost 10 years, so I'm really good at knowing um, what I'm doing here. So if you're not comfortable with it, make sure you tape it more than once or more than four times. Like me. Okay. And then you can check, too. Just check and make sure all your corners are laying down. Flat, and then I'm curled up. And you have it in the center of your heat press. And then this now is going to press onto this uh, lightly. and But you're going to get your second press there. So Gabby is going to um, put the butcher paper on. And we're going to press again. 460 seconds. And we have one, I think one more flag. Yeah, we have one more flag we're going to do. And we're going to show you, just show you one more um, different design. It's a flag that is for my neighbor. So I figured while we're live, we might as well press it and show you. Do you want to show them the dry erase? Yes, marker, dry erase marker. Okay, so this is my my dry erase board. And then I just do like tumbler and like that. And it just erases away that easy. Done. Nice. Yeah. But every single board we have, everything we have, you can use dry erase on, okay? 
So, um, every size, every different, the mason jars, everything, you can do dry erase. I have a lot of designs just for dry erase. Like, I do calendars, I have notes, and I have little mini boards. Okay, so we're going slow, remember? You want to open it slow so it doesn't go. So, Gabby's going to pull it off. She's got the glove on. And ta-da! You hang, hold it up and I'll hold it. Oh. Sorry. So this is the back side. And you can see you get a really good bleed on your back side. There you go. So you got front and you got back. And those are our double sided flags. And it's just that easy. If you ladies have any questions, please let us know. Do you like the new design? They pull off very fast. It's just hot when you pull it off. This is the front side. This is the back. You can tell by the back because it has a little tiny little seam right there, but you can't even see it. Yep. Put this outside now. Oh, we can't come fast enough. <laughs> You, all right, we got one more flag, then we'll show you guys how to put together the clock, and we have the stockings and tree skirt left. And somebody asked if they have to use special paper. Yeah, this, um, the prints are sublimation paper. All, um, the prints here that you're printing on, these are sublimation paper. Karen said, can't wait to press it on a shirt. Oh, that looks so pretty on a Yeah, shirt. I got to get it on the drive. Karen's on our drive, so I got to get it up there. I, I need to do that as soon as I'm done with this so I can see how it looks on a shirt. But yes, the paper that is here is called sublimation paper. If you don't have your own printer, um, we so you can print your own sublimations. I do offer sublimation prints on my website, outoftheworlddesigns.com. You can find sublimation prints on there. Um, I do tell everybody, get yourself a printer if you can afford it, because by the time you buy a bunch of prints, you can just have your own printer, and printers are amazing. As um, soon as we hit 10,000 members, um, we're going to be giving a printer away, so if you guys are on a group on somewhere else, and people are asking for something that you see that we have, um, share our group. The, as soon as we hit 10,000 members, we're going to be giving a sublation printer away. So um, make sure you share us. Gabby, we put another sheet on there. Make sure you share us everywhere and put our name out there. And um, we want to build a, a great following. She says it was for the dry erase. No, it's just sublimation paper for the dry erase and nothing special at all. Yeah, no, it's just sublimation. Same. In the hardboard. Yeah, um, we have a bunch of videos um, that we've done the dry erase boards before on in the past. Um, I'm sure we can find some and link you to them. But they're this exact same thing. The same way we did the turkey. The same way we did the turkey. It's just a sublimation paper. Same board, everything. Um, the size for the heat press is a 16 by 20. 20. And can you please tell me where I can find the list of designers? I'll post it again right now. I'll post it again right now. But at, um, when it's not on the live, like regularly, if you're on her um, website, website, there'll be a little tab that says approved designers. And what you'll do is you will go to the approved designers and click one of the links to go to the designers. Yeah, on the website on Out of the World Designs, there is a link, and we have different albums, so you can find everything nice and easy. And one of the links said approved designers. And you just click that link and it'll take you to um, a page that has each approved designers link on there. Um, also, if you need sublimation blanks, there's a link. There's an album for sublimation blanks. If you need transfers, there's an album for sublimation transfers. Can I get the other one? Huh? You gotta start sticking those both on at the same time. Okay, this is the one that my neighbor asked for. This is her... Gabby, move your hand a little bit so they can see the sun. She asked for this, and I made it for her. So, that is another one for my neighbor. And we're going to show you the back side of it, because we're going to show you how to print the back. 
Okay, so you just put your paper down again. Put your flag on here. Make sure you got it where you want it to go. I'm trying to, I'm bringing it over a little bit because I really want to get that sun in there real good for her. She loved that little sun so much. So you just get. The sun's cute though. The sun is cute. She loved it. When I sent over the proof, she was like, yes. Me and Gabby do not, uh, or Gabby and I, let me get my grammar right. We don't do um, retail very often. We'll do like, Gabby will do a couple of shows and do earrings. That's how she knows that the single-sided earrings sell the best. Gabby does sells a lot of earrings when she does a show. But we don't do retail other than that. And we haven't did any, sh she hasn't did any shows since last year. I think October or November. All my shows I do are just to raise money for college. So. Yeah, so we don't do any retail. But when your neighbor that is super kind asks for something or one of our family members or friends, we do it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Um, a lot of girls have chore charts. I have two gaming gamer chore charts, a dinosaur chore chart, and then, are you looking at me? Oh, and a unicorn chore chart, and then I know Kelsey has chore charts, and so does Melissa. I don't know. If Melissa, ha Melissa has. Katrina some. has chore charts. I don't know. I don't know if Katrina has them. I know Kelsey has like little farm ones. Kelsey has some really cute ones. Yeah, and then. Um, Melissa has some chore charts also. So, er, I, there's chore charts scattered around everywhere. I can start doing something if you guys want me to. I can start doing a day where I tell all designers, hey designers, today um, post a um, your favorite blank of this shape. Like, all designers today post your favorite design of this turkey shape. Or a chore chart or something like that. And then each designer can post their top favorite. I forget that we have new people. And they haven't seen a lot of our old blanks we did before they were joined. So yeah, maybe we'll start posting some of the older stuff that we've done. For all the newer people who are here. Yeah, if you're, forgetting. If you're new to our group, comment now, new, 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 new. We want to give away something to one of our new members. So only comment if you're new. Comment new now, and we're going to, and we'll do a little giveaway and give um, give away something to one of our new members. That's so cute. There you go. She's gonna love it. Love it. All right. I like flags. <laughs> I like flags too. All right, guys. So just a few more things to go. We have the tree skirts, and then I'm going to show you guys how to put together the cloth. This is a little bit of a long video, but hey, I'm going to line your stuff. Yeah, actually we have, I could have did other things too, but I was like, nope, not happening today. Maybe we'll do another live video next week. Yeah, we definitely will. Okay, so our tree skirts, they come in the red and black buffalo plaid. And they come in the black and white buffalo plaid. Um, and I can get the exact size. It's the same ones we had last year. But I was informed, you can see that we have this um, creamy tan color here. They are doing a lighter color this year. It's going to be the same as our pocket pillows. Do you have any pocket pillows in here? Is that, yeah. Okay, so after I sell all of these... My next order of tree skirts will be this color. I don't know if you can tell the difference or not. Can they see it, Gabe? Yeah. Okay. So, they have changed everything to this lighter color after we're done with these, okay? But I have a whole lot of these in stock right now. So, um, and they're changing it to this. He, he said that we might have an option for this or that. He's not 100% sure yet. He's getting with his um, supplier, and we're going to find out. But I was told, but I'm going to be honest with you. I really like either color. So either color is fine with me. All right. We need to do a live one day to press some pocket pillows. Yes. All right. So 
And the best way I do tree skirts is I find my center, okay? And what I mean by that is it already has a crease where it was already folded, okay? And then I just put it in like this. I don't know if Gabe needs to come over. I think he might be zoning out, y'all. You might be seeing the, work, the, the ceiling. Right. All right, so I find my center, and right here where your hole is, it'll tell you where your center line is, okay? So I find that first, and then I'm gonna put my transfer on. This is a big, 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 big selling for me last year was the plaid truck I did and the Merry Christmas. So, um, so I did matching socket stockings and um, the truck again. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. Now, I do own scissors, but this is another hack. I do lots of hacks in my videos, okay? So I'm gonna show you, don't cut that. No. I'm gonna show you another hack. You know when you press something and you get lines around it where you can see where you pressed it? Well, if you will take your transfers and you will tear along your transfer, just like I'm doing, it will make it where that line is either not there at all or there just a very little bit. So it is amazing how it works. But like I said, I've been doing sublimation for almost 10 years and that is something that I learned. So I just tear around the edge and when you press, you forget about the line. If there is one, it'll be very light. Okay, I always recommend pre-pressing anything that is um, linen. So we're just gonna do a little pre-press just for a few seconds, just to make sure there's no moisture. Also, you wanna make sure there's no wrinkles. It's nice and flat, looks beautiful. Then you're gonna put your transfer on. Make sure you don't put your transfer on like this or you'll have it upside down, okay? I've so done that. You wanna put your transfer on just like this, okay? So make sure you have it flipped the right way. And I printed mine um, on a 13 by 19 paper, but I just printed it proportionately. So I think it wound up um, printing like um, 13, almost 13 inches wide, and I think it's 14 or 15 inches tall. And it looks like it fits it perfect, but this is the same thing I did last year. So I just went back into my program and did the same thing I did last year because this is not new to me, but it might be new to you. Okay, and we're gonna cover it with a piece of butcher paper. And we just got done pressing flags, so I don't have to check the pressure. I know that it's gonna be a good pressure. So you're gonna press these the, um, for 60 seconds um, at 400 degrees, hard as press as you can get, okay? And um, you're gonna do the stockings the exact same way, but I wanna show you some of the stockings too. So, and we do have it in the black, black and white plaid and the red and black plaid. My question is, are you a black and white plaid girl or are you a red and black plaid girl? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a black and white, I like the black and white better. Comment now and tell us, are you a black and white plaid fan or are you a red and black? Comment and let us know which one you are. We like the black and white. Um, I can probably find some pictures of what I did from our stockings last year. All right. You see bees, Gabby? Yeah, I'm yawning. I didn't have enough coffee. I don't have more coffee. Okay. So I do the transfers, the same, the stockings, the same way. I tear around. Let's go ahead and pull this off. I'll let Gabby hold it up because she's got the, um, the gloves. I'm going to hold it like this. There you go. Look at how pretty it is. It's a tree skirt too. So it's not like a tiny one. It's a big one. But it does work for smaller ones because yeah, we have tree. a smaller tree. And how we folded ours, it worked just fine for it. And it does have two ties in the back so you can tie it. But and look how like pretty that is. Safety, right? Like if it gets there, you just throw it in there. Yeah, yeah, sure. 
Yep, and then on the back, you have the the plastic so it doesn't get the backside dirty. There is the tree skirts. So those will be going on soon, the tree skirts. It's the same ones we had last year. Um, and we just got them in a little early because everybody, um, I was hoping to have them for the July and Christmas event, but they got held up. So, um, and if you want to um, press over here, like you can have your iron over here, or you can press again and get all your wrinkly from Hold being on. in the bag. It paused for a second. The same thing that popped up earlier. So can oh, okay. It, like I said, well, if you missed it because the video paused, you can get the wrinkles out by ironing, or you can stick it underneath your press and just press a few times and get all your wrinkles out. Um, they will have wrinkles from being shipped over. But we'll put this over there. Huh, you know another thing you can do? Your little snowman you made with the little beanie. Oh my gosh, he would the be adorable. The black and white beanie on the black and white one. And it says Merry Christmas or like the tailors on it. Yeah. Or purse of being cute. And then you can just add little snowflakes all around. If yeah, you if you're new to our group, we did, I did a snowman with a beanie. You I don't gotta do I that one. one. You gotta do it. Yeah, he would be so super cute. Okay, um... If you're not into the truck thing, the snowman would be cute. But I know lots of designers are going to have some more designs coming up for the tree skirts also. All right. So, for the stockings, this is matching stockings. Um, I'm not, I didn't put no names on them or anything like that. But you can definitely add names if you're customizing. But if you have a little booth or you're doing a little show, this is um, what you make to make things easy. Now, this is the exact, this design is made by me. And um, you can find it on the website. And all I did was I just made the design 5 inches big instead of 13 inches big. Um, so you just make sure you tear. It, did you? If you saw on that tree skirt, you didn't see any press lines. So just tear around again for the stockings. Let me grab a stocking. My girl says, will you get any other color for the tree skirt? We just have the buffalo plaid and the uh, black and white plaid. Um, I can definitely run a pre-order for other colors, but those are the two colors that um, I like to carry the most. You do a pre-press just to make sure there's no moisture. I just kind of hold it here. I don't press it all the way down for a few seconds. Also, Elizabeth has a question. Have you got waffle towels ordered by any chance? Waffle towels are on, will be here Monday. I will update the website now, as soon as I'm done with this, so you can go ahead and order your waffle towels, but your order will not ship until Tuesday. So just keep in mind, whatever you order now won't ship until Tuesday because the waffle towels will be here Monday. The same thing with the earring hooks. So um, I just take mine. Now you can put yours anywhere you want. You can put it further up. You can put it further down. Um, our stockings that I have for us, um, we have our names on them too. Um, and you can definitely do names. But I just did Merry Christmas to be a generic. And um, if you're doing shows or something like that, I suggest that you just do a generic one. So just make sure you have it on there just the way you want lined up. And um, Gabby's little dog is trying to get into the room. She wants her mommy. She's addicted to her mommy. Okay, and Gabby's going to cover that up for us, and then we're going to press it, and I'm going to show you. I'm not, I have four of these ready, but I'm only going to press the one so we don't take too much more time. But I will give you guys a mock-up of all four together. Here you go. Actually, it looks like a... Ah, all the weight. You know that it's really girl. hard, guys. It's just that I'm really weak. I don't work out or anything. So this is not workout muscle. This is gaming muscle. See, like, oh, look at that. Oh, that's gaming muscle right there. <laughs> muscle in my fingers. I tell you, my fingers are powerful. <laughs> oh, I'm not a very active person, I would say. Like, I go outside and swim in a little box, but I sit down most of the time. Because you're drawing. And I game. <laughs> I sit there and I game and I draw. Alright, so we got just a few more seconds, guys. And then I'm going to show you how to put together the clock. I'm going to hang it my gloves on for this. I always do it too late. You're so big. You feel weird. 
It's okay. You take your time. It ain't going to hurt. The stocking to be a little longer. Super cute. Matches the tree skirt. Perfect. And there you guys go. And you can actually print that a little bigger in five inches. But I couldn't remember from last year because it's been a year since I pressed any. So I just did the five inches. But super cute and matches. And if you're doing a show or anything, you can just, or if you have a booth somewhere, you can just stick them in there just like that. They hang from your fireplace or your wall. How cute. Okay, so Gabe, if you will come over here. All right, guys, so I'm hoping you can see this. We're over here at our table. I know this table's a little dark. I'm going to show you how to put together this. Um, I'm hoping there's enough light. If you can't see something, let me know. Um, but you, you get two options with your clock, okay? You have the stand option or you have the wall option, okay? So um, if you're using the stand option, you need to 100% make sure that um, you have this piece on there. If you're not using the stand, you only need this piece. I hope I'm explaining this good, okay? Let me close you this. Need both of them to kind of show one hand. Let me close this so you guys aren't having to look at whatever is on here. All right. So, well, that didn't work, did it? Well, that's still, I guess, well, let me just put it on the website. What is all this? Mm -hmm. Hmm. This is trying to get me to update something. Okay, I'll give you that pretty to look at. Maybe we'll show you some tips on the website in a minute. Okay, so here is what you need to do. You're going to take this and you're going to put it in like that. Okay. And then you're going to put your clock on like that. Now, this is only if you're using the stand. That's what it'll look like if it's on the stand. If you're not using the stand and you're using the wall option only, then you do not, you just do it just like this, okay? I'm going to go ahead and do it with the stand so I can show you how it looks. Okay, so I got it on the stand. Now, what you need to do is you need to put your little washer, it's a little gold washer down, like that. Is it? It's a five now. Oh no. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this. It's a five percent, and we need this to post on our um, group. The phone's at five percent. Was at ninety when we started, so we must have been on here a long time. Okay, you're gonna screw the washer down. It, I'll do a separate video of this too. Okay. Then you're gonna put your minute hand. Yeah, do your hour hand. I mean your hour hand. Sorry, you're correct, Gabe. I'm trying to hurry and see what happens when I'm trying to hurry. You're putting that one down. Now be careful. You don't want to bend these. These are very light metal. So do not bend them. Then you're going to put your minute hand down. So just set it on there. It's hard to do with one hand. Then you're going to take this piece right here and you're going to stick it inside of the little hole. And you might need two hands. I mean another set of hands. To hold this you wouldn't have to if you didn't have the um, back piece help. yeah but I don't know if you can get in here at the same time can you hold the back piece on for me yep there you go so if you didn't have the base on there you'd be able to do it easier but I'm trying to do it with the base so you just set it on there and then you just push it in to place can't see my hole. We have no light right where I'm at, of course. Sorry, Gabby. I'm not trying to pinch you. Are we still good, Gabe? Yeah, we're at 4%. Oh, goodness. I might have to end it and just do a video on Gabby's phone real fast and then post it on the Facebook. Alright, I gotta get this down on there. Alright, guys. I might end this real fast and then just do another video real fast on Gabby's cell phone and just post the video of how to do it on the um the website for you guys or the youtube page because i can't i can't see what i'm doing i need to go into the other room where there's more light so i can do it and we're about to die so i can't transfer to the other room 
So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video now and I'm going to do another video. So if you've been waiting for this, you'll see it in a minute, okay? All right, guys, thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, let us know, okay? And we'll give away our prizes in a little while. All right, guys, thanks.